Hello and welcome to what I find an interesting, I don't know what you would call it, not necessarily a conspiracy theory, not necessarily, I don't know, I don't know. If you have a word for the theme of what these types of like random-ish readings are, um, let me know in the comments because I don't know what to call them. I mean, it's not really current events, it's not really, I don't know. But we're going to look at the RH negative blood type. So the RH factor is from the rhesus monkey. It's where those with a positive blood type, A positive, B positive, AB positive, O positive, is there an O positive? Whatever positive. Um, that means that you are positive for the rhesus gene, which is connected to... Um, apes so uh there are humans who have a negative blood type if you have a negative b negative o negative you have a negative blood type which means you do not possess the rhesus marker um so there's a lot of theories about why that could be or what that means and you're an alien you're reptilian uh, if you have a negative blood type um where it started was when the anunnaki um, bred with humans to create, um, like a hybrid human. Um, there's a lot of things out there that are being said about this. So I wanted to see if we could get any information from the tarot. Uh, I believe it originated the negative blood type in like the 15th century. I'm not sure. Um, but we, the scientists know for certain that the original blood type was positive, um, and at some point in our evolution, it started producing without that. So, let's see what we can do. What is significant about the Rh negative factor, or people who have it? Why or where did it originate? And I would like to pull a message for those who have an Rh negative blood type. So... What is significant about the RH negative flat factor, blood type factor? Significant about RH negative blood. Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, I'm getting one more, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, lots of swords here. Um, I do feel a connection with the swords and blood. Um, the red here, the red here, she's even wearing red. Um, so I feel like we're, it's kind of like a confirmation that we're talking about blood. Um, the Knight of Cups is, is a movement that's not, it's kind of a slow movement. So the knights are about moving. They're on a horse, um, traveling. So something that might be moving slow. Um, but I feel like two in the queen and the ten of swords. Um, I feel like those with negative blood types are slow movers. Okay, ev through evolution. Slow movers through evolution. Um, what does that mean? Okay, they take more lifetimes uh, they've been here more time okay what i'm okay what i'm kind of getting and i'm just gonna go with it it doesn't really have much to do with the cards but what i'm getting is um those with the negative rh factor have li like have lived more lives like okay what i'm kind of seeing is like going through a life you know your spirit takes this form for this lifetime dies does this life does this life and i feel like once they reach a certain point in how many lives they've lived here um they start to lose that aspect in the physical body that they take i i know that doesn't show, that doesn't sound like anything on these cards I mean, maybe it does a little bit with the butterflies, but that's kind of the visual that I'm getting is that after so many lives, it starts to, um, that, that rhesus factor starts to not become present at some point. 
Um, so I feel like what it's saying is significant is that people with RH negative blood have lived more lives or uh, like they're, they've reached a checkpoint of an um, amount of lives that they've lived. Okay. So the vigil, okay. I just kind of got a, um, the, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where they clone him and every time they clone them, they put like, they have like a tattoo on the inside of their lip or on, in their eye or something. There's something on their face and they, the more times they've been, every time they've been cloned, they get, you know, a marker. So, if, you know, they had three things under their lip or eyelid or whatever it is that um, they've been cloned three times. It's like the third or fourth version or whatever I'm kind of getting that as a visual but like in reverse backwards so every time they like lose one part of that okay that makes sense to me but hopefully it makes sense to you all right so where or why where or why did it negative blood type originate where did it originate because I think we've got the why where did Neg negative blood types originate. Okay, now this might be okay. Okay, so Native American. Let's see. This I want to take a closer look at the building. I don't see a specific style of like architecture that would indicate a location but um i definitely get earth i know cups are water and i know uh wands are fire but the amount of earth that is in these cards kind of is feeling like it was here native america native like I feel like it started here. It didn't like start in an, uh, another planet. Yeah. So this is past life connection here. Um, past self or pa not past life, past self, inner child kind of connection. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't get like a geographic on the earth location for it, but just that some, that it was here. So, to, I, I want to know, I'm adding a question. Do extraterrestrials have anything to do with RH negative blood? I'm looking for a clear yes or no. A clear positive or negative. Did extraterrestrials, non-Earth life forms have anything to do with the RH negative factor? That's a very positive feeling card. Okay, so why am I then getting a lot of earth from this? If that's a yes. Hmm. Are the extraterrestrials, okay, another yes or no, clear positive versus negative. Were there extraterrestrials on Earth that contributed to this? Uh, no, it's not a secret. <laughs> the moon is about s secrets. The moon is about hidden stuff and mystery. I don't want it to be a mystery. So I kind of feel like they're not going to say they're not going to say uh, whether or not there were extraterrestrials on the planet, which I kind of think is a yes, but maybe if I say pretty please, pretty please, can you tell us if there were extraterrestrials on Earth at the time that this started? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. 
the queen of pentacles the pentacles being about earth energy um and there's like a combination of life forms here so i i kind of feel like that's a yes uh so it, it did they did have something to do with it but it happened here so i feel like they were on the planet that's what we're getting here is that they were on the planet and uh Okay, I want to ask another yes or no. Yes or no, did, were the humans aware of the extraterrestrials' effect or presence? No, I don't think they were. Hard work. It would be too hard of a job to maintain them knowing. No. Okay, well... Let me put these back and we're going to do one final question and ask for a message if you have a ne negative blood type. Then this message may apply to you. please have a message that would apply to anyone watching with RH negative blood type fact. Five cards again, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't, if you could hear that, that was my neck popping. Um, okay, so we have the Three of Swords, which is usually all about heartbreak. Um, you know, I, I feel like that's not... Hmm. Okay, so I, I don't see this as, as heartbreak. I feel like she's kind of choosing the pain, um, if that makes sense, just from the intuitive sense that I get from the card. It's not necessarily heartbreak. It's a, her choosing pain. Um, the strength card, we have the five of wands, which is conflict, swords, sorry. Um, then we have the two of cups and the chariot. So the message for you, if you have RH negative blood, oh my goodness, bless you. If you have RH negative blood, is that you are strong and you can defeat this, whatever this is. Um, you're here for, you're going to experience things, trauma while you're here, but you can overcome that and then more overcoming here. Um, this is defeat, uh, walking away from a war kind of feeling, uh, but that you can, you can defeat that. You have the strength to come out ahead. Um, as long as you love yourself, this, um, I, this is my favorite interpretation of the two of, um, cups. It, Cause I've always said in every deck, it's about loving yourself. And they usually have like a man and woman and it's really not that she's in front of a mirror and she is loving, like, you know, giving herself love. It's her doing her daily affirmations. And then we have the chariot card here. How happy she is in spite of any disability. She's on her way to greatness and within herself because she found love in herself. And she knows that she can make herself happy and she doesn't really need to depend on anyone despite anything else up here that has gone on. So, um, I feel like that's the message for you. If you have RH negative blood, that's what you needed to hear right now. Um, but that, you know, there's going to be some hardships, but you're strong enough to overcome them and you need to do it with love and kindness for yourself. So that will wrap up this reading. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, if this was weird enough for you and you want to see more, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day.